What's going on, YouTube? Just got off on exit 56. And we are back outside, chilling with the puppies. Marley, Monday, Sugar, Pilk Squeak, Juicy. I thought I was somewhere else. She's right behind me. Tight. So, um, yeah. And uh, this video is about, really about picking a stud more so than anything i guess you could say that and i'm also just like speaking from my experience because i just i just seen the stud that i was looking at that i wanted to use well i already had in mind the stud i want to use and i just seen this new stud pop up i'm like damn i might want to use him now and i kind of get like that i don't know about nobody else i'm pretty sure we all go through it where it's like dang i don't know if i want to use the stud i've been looking at i like this new stud but you got to stop take a you know take a look at your program and ask yourself like is this stud what's best for my yard? You know what I mean? Is this stud is this stud gonna produce the look that I'm going towards, or is this stud gonna set me back? Even though this stud might be fire, this stud might be hard, but just because he hard don't mean he won't set me back. Because that ain't the look you're going for. Anytime you ain't going for the look that you want, it's gonna set you back. Even if the dog's hard, it's still gonna set you back because it's not the look that you want. Even though everybody else might eat it up, but it ain't the look that you want, so it ain't gonna do you no good. So you gotta sell it. But in other people, y'all may prosper from it and it might set them forward. That's cool, you know what I mean? So that's good, but on your side, it's not. So, um, yeah, you know, and I just know me, man. I get to look at all these different studs and I'd be like, damn, man, this still hard, this still hard, this still hard. But you gotta realize what you're trying to do, you gotta realize where you're trying to go, you gotta realize, like. I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do that. Like, I wanna breathe, I wanna get this look to that look. So, you gotta know, man, because you'll get lost in the sauce. So, you know what I mean? For example, you know, everybody that know me or follow me know I was trying to get away from that bull dog look, like Tot Gat. So the first dog I bred it to was Crypto. He was smashed, but he didn't have a bull dog look. And out of the four puppies, one came out with the English bull dog look, and that was that chocolate brindle girl that went to uh, Carolina. Yeah, Chocolate Burning Girl went to Carolina. Everybody else, muzzle was uh, a little bit cleaner or had wrinkles in it, but it wasn't English Bull Dog. Second time I bred tight, Pip Squeak. You know what I mean? Uh, not tight, I know, I know. Hold on. She got some on her face, y'all. Hold up. So, second time I bred tight, Pip Squeak. And, um, of course, you know, Pip Squeak ain't got no damn Bull Dog muzzle. Hell, look at him. It dang good. What up, buddy? All right, man. All right, good luck camera time. Talk to him. What's up? Good squeak. All right, man. Y'all about your boy. So, <clears throat> anyhow, uh, out of those seven puppies, I want to say two had an English Bulldog muzzle. That was a chocolate girl that I sold. And that Brenda girl with the ears, I think she has a, she's going to have like an English Bulldog muzzle. Um, so, you know, I'm time to tell. But, um, so, yeah. <clears throat> So, you know, you, you just got to know what you want to breed that stud to. And like my guy E used to tell me, uh -oh, I'm sorry, mama. Like the boy E used to tell me, he used to be like, yo, you want to breed strength to weaknesses. Strength to weaknesses. That's what you want to do. Strength to weakness. So if you know your dog got a, a weak rear or a small head or small bone or don't have the girth that you want or don't have the muscle that you want or neck or easty westy or she cow hawked or stiff stifles or what's the high rear anything you know what i mean don't got a tail whatever it is that you're trying to add you know what i mean if i got a dog with a small head i can't go to a dog with a small head i can't be like well it's in the pad that you know what i mean he got a small head she got a small head well i'm gonna i'm gonna trust i'm gonna trust that she they get a big head because i like this stud and i see his pad and in the pad i see big heads but you know what i mean it, it's a chance it may happen, but you setting yourself up for failure because you, what you what you looking at, you know what I mean? Yeah, granted, dogs do throw what's in their pad. Some dogs throw, you know, stuff that's in their pad that you don't like, and some throw stuff that's in their pad. You trust the blood, and they throw what's in the pad that you know what's in there. But you're taking a chance when you're doing that. So, but if you see a dog with a big head, it's a chance you're going to get, and your dog got a small head, it's a chance you're going to get some dogs with some big heads in there. Might not All of them might not come out big. But it's a chance you're going to get some on the big head instead of just rolling that dice on a dog with a small head looking at his pad. That's my opinion. My personal opinion. My personal opinion. 
I'm no expert. This is just my personal opinion. So, but I do know for a fact, you take strengths to weaknesses. That ain't no personal opinion. <laughs> so, yeah, when you're looking for a stud, man, and like I said, I'm just talking to myself as, as I'm talking to you all. You got to remember, you want to go strength to weakness, and you want to make sure that the stud that you're going for is the look that you want, you know. You want to make sure that's the look that you want. Stop, girl. Stop. Um, Got to make sure that's the look that you want, man, because... You'll set yourself back, like I said, you'll set yourself back if you, that ain't the look that you want. You don't want to just get caught up in a moment of, of a picture and be like, oh, dang, that mug hard. And you forget all about the stud you're going to go to. Now, don't get me wrong, if a stud you looking at is hard and then you see a better stud, then by all means, go to the stud that you think is going to better your program. By all means. So, you know, you just got to remember that. Remember, whatever your girl lacks, you need to go to the dog that has what your girl lacks. Forget about the color. If you can find it in color and you want color, if you want those guys that stuck on color, find a dog that got color that got what you're looking for. Don't just go to a dog with color and then think he gonna throw, you know what I mean, some old miraculous stuff that ain't in the dog to throw and then you blame the stud on him for that. Like, no, like you seen what he was like. And then another thing, you, got, you can't expect the stud to do everything. Your girl gotta carry something. You see what I'm saying? She gotta have something to help out the stud. It's, it's a, it's, it, it goes together, you know what I mean? You just can't expect the stud to carry the litter. So, you know, I, that's why I say strength and weakness. So if your girl just lack a lot of stuff and your dog, the male dog you got, got everything that your girl lacking, you know, I don't, that's what you go to. Or you find you another female that got, you know, that carries more of, the, of, of, more of a substance than the one that you got. But if you working on a budget, you know what I mean? And, and your female don't get everything that you want, but she got some good qualities. Then go to a stud that got more, that got better qualities than her. You know what I mean? Go to a, go to a stud that got way more better qualities than her. You know what I mean? To get you where you need to be. You know what I mean? That litter might not be the litter that you're going to, that might be the litter you're going to sell everything. That might be the litter where it's like, all right, I, I like this girl. I like her temperament. I like that she uh, short, but I don't like that she got, I, I don't like that she got small bone. I don't like that. You know her you know her bone is okay uh she don't got the muscle tone that i want the head is not kind of where i want it she got a long tail i want a long tail that's cool so all right let me find a stud that got the opposite of all this that you got what i want and you might want to keep you know you might like the girl so it's like all right i'm gonna i'm gonna start it off with this so i mean that's basically how you know people start you know start their stuff man they 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 start with what they got. Some people keep, you know, they whatever female they start with, they keep it and build on top of it. Some don't. Some just use what they start off with to get more money, to get the money, and then go out and buy better. And neither one is, you're not wrong for neither one. I'll tell you that. You're not wrong for neither one. So one probably just take a little longer. If To me, the, the, if the female you start with, and the, if you keep her and just build off her blood, probably going to take you a little longer. You know what I mean? Then just breed her getting the money then going to breed her about two times getting the money you know and just kind of be done breeding just keeping her around but then going to buy a better female you know what i mean you know it may take you a little longer but it, it may not so it just depends on you know how you trying to do it, it this this a marathon dog it ain't a sprint so you know it's 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 you most definitely don't want to get caught in the sauce y'all i'm trying not to talk and go everywhere but you, you don't want to get caught in the sauce or you just going going to the next hottest stud. And if that's what you want to do, then you could do that. You know, some people do that. They just go to the hottest stud, hottest stud, hottest stud. And they, and it, they make it work, it work for them. It work for them. Because that's what they that's what they want to do. That's how they want to build their program. Like, hey, not me. You know what I mean? Not me. I'm, I'm, I'm headed in a different direction. And I'm really not really talking about that. I mean, you know, I already said I want more muscle tone cleaner muzzle, less English bulldog muzzle. I don't care if, it could be smashed, don't get me wrong. It could be, you can have some wrinkles. I'm okay with having wrinkles, uh, just as long as it's not too English bulldoggy. And you know what I mean? I, I'm trying to get away from that look. So, uh, so yeah, uh, you know, you just figure out the direction you want to go. I say, I know the direction I'm going. I, like, I want more muscle and bone. I don't really want girth. I more so just want muscle. You know, if you looked at Chunky, rest in peace, my boy Chunky. Chunky had bone, but he had girth. He was real girthy, real girthy. And uh, 
of course I kept him because it's like, well, he might not have the look that I want, but he got the look that somebody else wants so I can stir them out. And truth be told, I didn't expect to get this girl when I bred Chunky to that Dex female. Uh, that little came out pretty decent, man. I didn't expect to get nothing like this. Uh, and I wish you could see my guy dog, uh, my guy Eddie, the exclusive bullets. He got a chocolate dog off that litter. Uh, head the size of, uh, his head like, like, like Pipsqueak. Pipsqueak got a big head, if you don't know. And uh, it's a chocolate dog, man, he hard. Nice spread on him, he looks good. And uh, so yeah, so like I say, mine is more so like I say, muscle tone and bone. Uh, keeping it 10 to 12 inches. I want that bull neck. You know, she got it a little bit, you know, for a female anyway. Uh, I seen some females were bigger, so, but you know, hey, what it is. You know, clean little muzzle. Like, I like her muzzle. It ain't too long, it ain't too short. You know what I mean? She athletic, she run. You know what I mean? That's another thing, man. I want dogs that can, that, that don't mind. They got drive. They got drive, you know. Uh, it's one thing to be lazy, and it's another don't have drive at all. You know what I mean? Some of them be a little lazy, but they still got a little drive. Some of them just lazy. Like, huh. <laughs> she extra lazy. But that's okay. You still my stink stunt. You can be lazy. But that's just who she is, though. But you got to know who she off for. She off for Picasso. Picasso was lazy. That's just what it is. So, um, I mean, I don't got a problem with it. You know, but I just, I'm, I'm leaning toward more dogs that got dry now. Dry is still short. You know what I mean? And just the, uh, not the wow factor in the sense of, oh, your dog is like really small and got a lot of bone and just girthy. And you know what I mean? You see those dogs that look good. They just small and got bone and they look good. You know what I mean? But they just, of course, they just table dogs. Ain't nothing wrong with it, you know? But shoot, man. Like boy, Kelly Taylor said, I want a beast on the end of my leash. That's why I'm at with it now. So. I got my eyes on like two, maybe two studs, maybe two. One, I'm really, I'm really locking in on him. Um, and I see studs every day that I be like, ah. Then I go back to Buddy Page and I see his production. I just be like, nah. That production would change my mind every time. Every time. So, yeah. But yeah, man, just kind of know what you're looking for. Know what you're trying to do. Know where you want to go. And uh, that'll help you out, man, when, when it comes to looking for a stud. You know, all the other stuff going to come with it. Of course, you want to make sure you, the guy do good business. <clears throat> but as far as, like, taking the good business away and all that other stuff away, just strictly on dogs, just dealing with strictly dogs and looks, just make sure that dog carry what you're looking for. You know what I mean? Strength to weakness, man. Strength to weakness. That is what you need to do. That will take you if, you if you forget anything else. Anything else. You might not listen to nothing I got to say. But if you take strength to weakness, I guarantee you, you can't go wrong. Not saying your litter going to be perfect, because no litter is. But if you go strength to weakness, and you got to be realistic with yourself. You cannot be kennel blind. You got to be realistic. You got to know if that, if that girl, you know what I mean, what she's lacking. Especially if you like, okay, all right, I'm not going to buy a new female. This is the female I'm going to work with. So if that's the female you're going to work with, you got to be realistic with yourself. And you got to realize that the stud can only do what the stud can do. You know, if your girl don't got nothing or bringing nothing to the table that you want, and the stud got everything that you want, you may just get one dog that got what you want. You just got to keep your eyes open and look and hold on to the puppies and see what you get. So, but yeah, word of the day, man. Strength and weakness. Other than that, I'm at 14 minutes. I hope I talked about something instead of rambling. I would listen to the video and see if I if I hit the points, but if I didn't, who gives a care? Who cares? Hopefully y'all listen. Hopefully y'all like it. Hopefully y'all subscribe. Hopefully y'all share. And you know, I, I keep 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 bringing y'all more content. Uh, right now I'm rocking with another phone. Like I said, I will give me a new phone, but until then. You know, if you want it, I got it. I don't, I get it. Get why getting is good. Shout out to Hustle Man. You know, and remember, life is your greatest inventory. Signing off. Is it 56? Peace.